back to tenor guitar time. Let's get straight into this A shape D7 arpeggio or seventh arpeggio could be played anywhere. Here's our D seventh chord. The root is a nice low D, so we can do this shape anywhere. D7, C7, B7, A7, and so on. The seventh arpeggio. <clears throat> Remember, the seventh arpeggio is the same as the major arpeggio. We're just adding the flatted seventh note, which is just one step down from the root note. So in this position, this A shape, here's our root. So there's our added note right there, which is a C. So we have our one, three, five, flat seven, back to one. And then from this one, one, three, five, flat seven, one. quick word about the finger stretches on the tenor guitar since uh, a lot of these shapes require a bit of a stretch so when you're just a, a little tip when you're stretching your fingers out wide don't muscle it at first you kind of it seems like you have to muscle it to get it up there but once you get in position try to relax the pressure on the back of the neck with the thumb, relax the pressure in the back of the hand. And try to do it with this effortless stretch that somehow comes from the center of the hand, not the muscles. A light touch is all you need to get a good note a lot of times. So whenever I find myself getting tired, it's usually because I'm clenching my hand too much. So really relax that uh, fretting hand. Let's try a little with the metronome here. One, two, three, four. doubling the octave notes on this seventh pattern like I usually do because it has this a nice uh, even amount of notes in the pattern so it falls back on the one if we just hit each note once That's too fast. Let me slow this down a little bit. Two, three, four. When you're working on your memorizing your arpeggios, 
At first, it's always nice just to do them in order. But after a while, practice um, getting familiar, make little, make up little licks for yourself that just involve one string or two strings. So you get memorize little chunks of the arpeggio when it's related to the chord so that when you're playing and you and there's a chance for you to do put a little flourish in there your fingers will quickly example so in the low strings we have the, we have this these notes here all right what's the next notes down memorize them from a finger position that can maybe slide up from there so when you're doing your chord it becomes second nature just to know it's right there Let's just get straight into the homework here. We've used the G, E minor, and the D7 in this homework assignment. First, practice moving the D7 or the seventh arpeggio around. And uh, let's just do D and A. Try double time. assignment is to go from D7 arpeggio to the E minor arpeggio to the G arpeggio. And remember we double the octaves when we do the uh, E minor and the G. Three, four. Now we're going up. 
up to G. Thank you.